Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about using Facebook Live. Let's get started! Another way to increase engagement in your Facebook group is to create a live broadcast. Using Facebook Live, you can promote your products or services inside your group. You can also create live sessions per week or per month, which gives your members something to look forward to. It can also build deeper connections with your group members as you interact with your viewers in real time, ask them questions, and they can comment on their answers right away. Since it is a real-time broadcast, you can inform your viewers about your announcement or a quick message immediately. To create a live broadcast, go to the Facebook group where you want to share your Facebook Live. Write a post, then click on the three dots to view more options to add to your post. Next, click on Live Video. You will be redirected to the stream setup of the Go Live Now menu. The first section shows you the Live tab pages where people can find all the live videos that you have created. Under Get Started, you can choose how you want to start setting up your live video. You have the options Use Stream Key, Use Camera, or Use Paired Encoder. You can use the camera from your computer to start the live stream. Under Settings, you can enable or disable the option and Live Video if the stream stops. This option is not recommended for streamers with a poor internet connection. Embed Live Video shows you to insert your live broadcast on any website. Under Viewing, you can allow viewers to rewind your video, turn on generated captions, and allow viewers to message you. Under Comments, you have the options Follower, Slow, Discussion, Restricted, or Protected. These will provide options for your live broadcast viewers the option to comment on your Facebook Live. This can protect your live video from being spammed by your viewers who will comment on your live broadcast. Who will comment on your live broadcast? Under Setup, you can choose the device that you will use for your live video. In this example, it shows the USB device of this computer. Then the microphone is used for the live broadcast. Once you have finished setting up your live stream, you can now write a title of your live broadcast and write a description about the live video. Before you create a live video, you can use the test broadcast to check if your live broadcast will work properly. Below, you can see the option Share the Pages Groups. Select your Facebook group, then click on Start Test. When your live broadcast is clear as you use the test broadcast, you will be able to view the live video in this section. It will show you the insights of your broadcast, such as the number of current viewers, the number of reactions or likes, the number of shares, and the number of comments. While doing the live broadcast, you can adjust the comment moderation and choose how your viewers can comment on your broadcast. Below the video, you can view the current stream setup and create polls to ask during the live video. You can also view the stream metrics to determine your live streaming health if you're getting the right amount of internet connection for your broadcast. You can also view your dashboard and a summary of insights that are updated in real time. When you're done, click on the End Live Broadcast. After the broadcast, you can rate the quality of your Facebook Live and you also have the option to view the post, stream your video, or create a clip from your video. Facebook Live can attract more viewers inside your live broadcast since Facebook prioritizes sharing live videos to more people. And once people discover your live broadcast, people can share your live broadcast and they're more likely to keep on engaging in the comments section of your live broadcast. Now that you know about using Facebook Live, we can now proceed to the next chapter, moderating your Facebook group. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.